Okay, now that this room's finished being plasterboard, we've done the uh, setting, we've done all the sanding, so I'm ready to do the fit off. So what you're gonna see me do now is put in some of this uh, skirting around the base and put some of the arch trays around these door frames. Okay, so we've popped the bit of skirting on. Now we're gonna put the arch trays around the door frame. What I like to do is get a, a set square or a sliding square and set this to five millimeters and that's the quirk we put around the door jam and that's where our architrave will finish. So I'll show you just how we do that. Taking the square and the pencil. Just trying to mark all the way around. Okay, so that's this room fitted off. We've got skirtings and architraves on, pretty straightforward. On the sides where I've got direct stick plasterboard on the brickwork, uh, I've used a little packer underneath just to hold the skirting out from uh, kicking in. Uh, if you've got a conventional timber frame, you can just drive a cloud in, use your square, and just make sure that that's keeping the skirting out nice and plumb. But when we've got a uh, brick wall behind here, it's a little bit hard to get nails in. That's one little tip to keep the um, skirtings out. Um, and then the other one on the doors, is just to make sure you run your quirk line around, measure to that, and then your architrave should be pretty straightforward. Uh, there's other little tips here and there where you might have to plane a little bit out the back of a, a skirting or an architrave, um, just if the jib rock's got a little bit of a belly in it, uh, just so it sits tight on the jam. There's a few other tricks here and there that you can look at doing, but all in all, pretty straightforward. Got the nail gun, shoot it on, bit of glue here and there, and that's it, straightforward. All right, moving to the next room. The other thing we need to watch on this wall is because there's a cavity slider just here which is built into this wall, common mistakes are people just go along and they'll fire the skirting or the architraves on without taking into consideration this cavity. Now what will happen, where the framework finishes here and then you've got this pocket cavity, you've only got these thin little 20mm rails here, so if you use a nail that's any longer than 30 millimeters because you've got your plasterboard which is 10 and then you've got this which is 20 you'd run the risk of the nail sticking into this pocket and then when the cap when the door comes to slide through the cavity it'll just scratch on those nails so that happens quite a lot so all I'll do now is just measure the distance back from the edge okay to our stud we've got 760 there now by coming back that measurement 
So unlike on the other walls which were double brick with plasterboard stuck over, this is a timber frame wall. So what we can do with this one, rather than using the packers at the bottom like we've been using, you can just use a stand with clout and you knock that into the bottom plate of the frame. And again, the whole idea is because when you run a straight edge down and there's that small recess in the bottom, sometimes you can cut the recess off if you've got the time and the availability to do it. Most of the time the shear will go on full and there'll always be that recess at the bottom. So using a, a small skirting like I am, which is only 70 mil, you want, don't want it to kick in, just get the clout and you knock that into the bottom and just keep it out proud enough so that it's flushed down. So tapping that nail in, we'll just stop the skirting from kicking into the bottom. Right, we'll finish the rest of it off. Okay, so there you have it guys, you've seen the skirtings and architraves going on the uh, doors and walls. Now the last thing I need to do to finish off is really just pop a few doors on and then we're done up here. We're ready for the next stage which is paint. So I hope you've enjoyed that little video. Stay tuned, there's more videos coming up. You'll see the painting in the next stage. If you like what you see, please subscribe and uh, stay tuned. Thanks guys. Yeah.